Another thing about Quran that we need to know, what is called the uh, Sajda Tilawa, Ayat as Sajda also, prostration of recitation. So, uh, there are some rulings about it. Uh, we'll go over those. So, is it obligatory or is it sunnah? So, there are like many instances, 15 places in Quran. Whenever you recite them, you should make a sajda, a prostration. So, that is from the sunnah and uh, the, the ijma, the, the uh, consensus of the scholars. They said that it is strongly, strongly recommended that you do sajda whenever you listen to such verse. If somebody doesn't do it, he is not sinful, but he's really missing out on a very big reward. So that should be done. And uh, the, what is the proof? Why is it not obligatory? Because we go back to the evidences. Uh, the, for example, uh, Sayyidina Zaid ibn Thabit, uh, he recited the Quran to the Prophet Sallallahu uh, but he did not prostrate. He recited without prostrating uh, Surat An Najm. We know that there is uh, a prostration. He didn't do it. So we see that Prophet Muhammad didn't tell him anything. It, it was Allah. And also uh, uh, Sayyidina uh, Ibn Umar radiallahu anh, in Sayyid Bukhari it was recited, it was told that he said that uh, verily Allah has not made prostration compulsory upon us unless we wish. Unless we wish we can do it. And he also, Sayyidina Umar, once he was giving the khutbah, and, uh, he, and, and he recited this verse from Surah uh, Nahl, and he did not make uh, sajda. Okay, so, for example, I'll give you some scenarios, some examples actually. So somebody is like sitting here, and reciting Quran and maybe there are two three brothers at the end of the room they are talking to each other so this brother reads the verse of uh, ayat of sajda so do, do those people also have to do sajda because they heard it uh, what's the ruling on that so the scholars say if those two people were listening to the recitation then they should do sajda but if they were not listening to it carefully just talking to themselves, then they don't have to do the sajda. If the Imam is reciting Quran and he uh, recites the verse of sajda, and if he forgets to make sajda, is the salah valid? Yes. It is valid because we said it's not obligatory. However, however, notice, notice this. I saw these people doing it. They but if the Imam makes sajda, people are still standing, they say, oh, sajda is not obligatory. So they don't make sajda with the Imam. Is it allowed? And that is not allowed. Because if the Imam makes the sajda, now it becomes obligatory for you to do the sajda as well. And if it's not uh, uh, salah, if, for example, if a famous Qari comes and he recites like in general public, then what is the ruling? If he makes sajda, if the entire gathering makes sajda, you should also be making sajda can't be like, now. oh, so now I can skip it. No, uh, it, it, it goes that way, what people are doing. So I, I made this list of all the places in the Quran where we have ayat of sajda. Uh, notice I highlighted some, one, some verses, some, uh, some of these. Why did I do that? Uh, this was because... You see, when, when the Qur'an was compiled during the time, or the early times, uh, they didn't have markings like this we have right now. You see this marking that we usually see? This is a page from uh, Surat Maryam. And, and when this verse is recited, you see this uh, sign of mihrab, And that's like the sign that you have to make such then like an underline here. So we didn't have this kind of mushaf in the beginning. So the scholars basically said that, okay, that you can mark it now. But earlier times, it wasn't there. In fact, actually, there is a disagreement among scholars how many uh, ayat of sajda is there in the whole Quran. All scholars agree that there are definitely at least 10. So the ones which are in white are like, all scholars agree. Not a single one disagrees. However, some of them, uh, the highlighted ones, they disagree. So if you see the brothers from India, Pakistan, and that subcontinent, they will not have 
number 7 uh, from uh, al hajj this is not there so they have 14 ayat of sajda in the in the quran the one that is printed from uh, madina complex uh, quran complex yeah <laughs> See, everything we go back to Sunnah, and we have a hadith actually from Abu Dawud. In this Abu Dawud, it was said that it was reported from Amr ibn al As that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said he recited to him 15 verses in the Quran where one should prostrate, three of which are in. Al Mufassal and two of them are in Surat Al Hajj. So, this is a Hassan Hadith according to Imam Nawawi. So, why don't people do this? Well, all these 15. The problem is uh, sh- uh, some uh, scholars of the Hadith, like Sheikh Albani, they said that this is a Waif Hadith. It's not like doesn't have the strength because of some of the narrators. But Imam Nawawi and Imam uh, Munziri, they were also scholars of Hadith. They said there is no problem at all. So, now we, you see that there is a difference of opinion. So whenever we have such differences, you know, people follow who are scholars they want to follow. That's the problem. So in in, in uh, so for example, this opinion was held by uh, the famous uh, scholar uh, Tahawi and Ibn Hazm, uh, They were very, I mean, genius scholars. So people like their opinion, and that's why uh, they, uh, they did not take this verse. But if you ask the other group apart from this hadith. And, and, and they say that this should be included in Ayat al-Sajdah because why? Because we know this for a fact that Sayyidina Umar, Abdullah's daughter and also Abu Darda, they used to make Sajdah on this verse. So that's why they said, okay, now not only we have a Hadith but also the practice of the Sahaba. So I mean, you can go in a lot of details and debates but the bottom line is that, you know, that, that's the history. So sometimes I see people fighting over it, you know, it's not an issue to fight, you know, the differences between scholars had been there. We just follow whatever is right. As long as they are following the proper methodology in disagreement, we, we take it. Don't like make a big issue out of it. Uh, no.